Hello and welcome to Bro Duel. Today we'll be taking a look at Campsite, the Simple Wasteland Camping Mod. Camping and survival mods are extremely popular in Bethesda games. We've seen our fair share in Skyrim, and now we've got a great one for Fallout 4 too. Campsite is a mod that adds around a dozen new camping items to Fallout. With the mod you'll be able to craft your very own carryable tents, sleeping mags, fire kits, cooking pots and more. It's been designed to be simple enough for light play, allowing you to set up camp almost anywhere in the wasteland, but also detailed enough so you can build and personalise the camp to fit your needs. To get started you'll need to head to your chem station. Here you'll find a new category called camping gear, and under it all of the new items. By default you'll only see one colour variant, but if you head into the root cellar in Sanctuary you'll find a new book called The Adventures in Camping. With that in your inventory you'll unlock the crafting recipes to all of the colour variants for each item. More precisely the items include three types of tents. A makeshift tent is the most basic, with some material draped over a stick in the ground and a sleeping bag underneath it. Then there's the simple pole tent which is more of a typical tent that you'd expect. And finally there's also the double pole tent which is the same but has enough room for two sleeping bags under it, so you can bring along a companion. The pole tents come in several different colours, including plain white, blue, black, green and red, as well as the two camel variants, forest and desert. Alternatively, if you're sleeping in calm weather then you might prefer to use a sleeping bag on its own. These also come with the same colour variants as the tents, but with the addition of Nuka Cola Red and Vault Boy Blue. And finally, for the last of the sleeping gear and for your only true friend in Fallout, we have some dog beds. If you're bringing him along, be sure to craft one of the seven colour variants available. What's great is that your companions and even dog meat will actually use their beds to sleep in. If you tell dog meat to go lie down, he'll make use of unused Bethesda animations to go to sleep. The authors also added some light snoring sound effects, which is a nice touch. To stay warm in the wasteland you'll want to combine some wood, oil and cloth to make some fire kits. These allow you to start and maintain fires at your campsite, which provide more functionality on top of a strong light source. Clicking on a lit fire will give you a few options, allowing you to either warm your hands, sit down or kneel around the fire. Your companions will also join you around the fire when they want to relax. Crafting a cooking pot allows you to place it on the fire, and as long as it stays lit you can cook some food on the go. However, fires will only last for around 4 hours, so be sure to bring a few kits if you're planning on spending multiple nights in the wild. If your fire does burn out, then you can always craft a lantern. These also provide a light source, but can be placed more freely. Simply drop it on the ground, or hang it from your tent if you want some extra light to read some Grognak the Barbarian. Another useful item is the GPS beacon. Placing one of these at your camp will allow you to set up a map marker on your pit boy, allowing you to view or even fast travel back to your camp at any time. So with the addition of a beacon, you could potentially create a home away from home. And finally, the last two pieces are mainly for decoration. There are cloth walls in various colours that allow you to flesh out or structure your campsite a little better. And there's also folding chairs to give you a place to sit if you're not interested in sitting around the fire. Placing these items is simple, and in most cases you'll just have to drop them where you stand. They work best on flat land, so avoid cliffs and any other bumpy areas. Once dropped, you can finally tweak their placements by nudging their position, or by rotating them slightly. If you're familiar with camping mods in Skyrim then you know what to expect. It's not as good as the settlement system, but we found it to be good enough to get the job done. All in all, Campsite offers a simple, customisable and functional camping system for Fallout 4. There's certainly room for more, but thanks to its simplicity, it's highly compatible alongside other mods. It's also light on scripts, so you're free to install or uninstall the mod mid playthrough. We'd like to see lying down animations for the sleeping bags, as well as the ability to sit inside of the tents. We also can't wait to see the Frostfall style system for Fallout 4. But even now, with the upcoming survival update, Campsite will surely become a must-have mod for a lot of people. So if you're interested in giving it a go, then you can find a link down below. As always, be sure to endorse any of the mods you enjoy, be sure to check out g for some cheap games, and thanks for watching.